quick look through the Illini football record book, and it doesn't take long to find Nathan Shieldhouse's name. The former quarterback is the school's all-time yardage leader, and you can still see his popular number two jersey around Memorial Stadium. But returning to U of I wasn't always his plan. You know, when I left, I didn't think I would get into coaching. Um, you know, I, I definitely even uh, see, sought out other things. Shieldhouse and his wife Morgan were living in Louisville, where Nathan was serving as a high school pastor when they had a change of heart. I just learned so much about myself, learned so much about uh, even us as, as a relationship, as a marriage moving forward, and, and we kind of just could tell um, God was uh, doing some stuff in our hearts and, and kind of changing our hearts for what we thought we would do and where we thought we'd go. Coming back to Champaign made perfect sense. Nathan took over assistant director of football operations in June. Excited to get back involved. Um, you know, at this university uh, with a football uh, team that I had been a part of for so long. Then, only months into the new job, Illinois fired head coach Tim Beckman, leaving a coaching position open on the staff. Shieldhouse fit the mold. Only one week before the season, he took over as running backs coach. Only two seasons ago, Shieldhouse was on the field making calls for the Illini offense wearing a helmet. Now, he's roaming the sidelines making calls for the Illini wearing a headset. He was a logical choice and really the best choice uh, for us to go out there and really get an experienced guy in this offense uh, and a guy that loves this university. You know, and I want guys here that want to be here, that love this place, love the kids, you know, love the town, love the fans, you know, because when you all have that, you're always positive in what you're doing coming into work every day with a, with a purpose in your life, and that's what he's done. A quarterback by trade, he says that actually made the move to running backs coach easier. Obviously, I know Coach Cubitt's offense because I played in it. I was successful in it. Uh, and, and, you know, as a quarterback, you had to know what everybody was doing. You didn't just know what you were doing or, or just what the offensive line was doing, but you knew the running backs, receivers, tight ends, all the above. Now coaching some of the same running backs he was handing the ball off to while under center for the Illini. Two years ago, I was, uh, you know, I, I was working out side by side with Josh in the weight room. Um, you know, I was out there with him on the field. Uh, you know, but as a quarterback, there, there's so much coaching that you do, especially uh, in this offense, being out there on the field. So um, that transition was easy for us. Can you keep up with him in the weight room still? No. <laughs> yeah, I could barely keep up with him back when I was uh, in my playing days. I, I definitely can't run with him, uh, can't lift with him. Um, hopefully on the mental side, I'm still uh, still sticking with, sticking with him on that. Shieldhouse said he couldn't be happier to be back at the University of Illinois and hopes he's here for years to come. I feel like I'm one of those that, that bleeds orange and blue, and, and this is the place that I'm most excited about um, each and every day. So uh, it, it's just an honor to be in this position right now, and uh, yeah, I, I would love to be working here for forever. Reporting for your Illini Nation, Craig Schott, WCIA 3 Sports.